for Action News, I'm Anna Delosky. They exist in 90% of households, and yet some people are still skeptical of these devices that warm your food, microwaves. And now the American Chemical Society is saying the debate is over. They're squashing all of the concerns and other health myths in their latest message. In a YouTube video, the American Chemical Society shows the real science of microwaves and what affects the nutrient levels in vegetables, especially the frozen ones. Here's our senior research associate and recent addition to the AXA team, Nicholas Staropoli, with his perspective. What really happens with microwaves is that there's very low microwave radiation, which is kind of similar to just the type of uh, energy that lights a common light bulb that you would have in your house. The microwave radiation targets just the water molecules in the food and gets them excited so it heats up the food as a whole. It doesn't affect any of the other nutrients or compounds, molecules in the food. So really what you're just getting is a heating of the food while maintaining the overall integrity of the food. Although the science is clear, it hasn't stopped self-proclaimed food experts like Vanny Harry, aka the Food Babe, from attacking these devices. The Food Babe is just trying to push this kind of lifestyle that she thinks or that she believes or that other people believe is more natural and that because it's she deems it natural, that me must mean it's healthier. In reality, we need to educate people on the science so that they can make correct decisions about nutrition and eating. So that's what makes this video so great is that it really breaks it down in simple language and with some cool little visuals. It shows people how this, these misconceptions about things that are thought of as unnatural are actually really good for public health and really good for nutrition. We can't give everything away in the American Chemical Society video, but we encourage you to watch it. We have that link right on our website at action.org. And while you're there, don't forget to also sign up for your latest dose of news delivered straight to your inbox. For Action News, I'm Anna Delosky.